like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Come and drink. Let us This land the will gods. never prosper while clan. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even among the gods. When Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. need anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Swain, 
Have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure. <laughs> they must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Oh, 
So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. <laughs> Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! <laughs> Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <gasps> what? <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down! You are asleep! 
No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Oti, neighbor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, 
or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? There's no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sing it! Not for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Dance. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm.
I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! has deserted again! Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan... He's Gunnar's sister's son, if I have it right. Do not fire your irons yet. I will have a look around.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured by Kinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just a start. Rantvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts, and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. 
I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotre from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Andri. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, uh, we should all be so lucky. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. No, oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. 
Python, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. A mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> you are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Python is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Please. <laughs> Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Python. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. 
The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. <laughs> this is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. <laughs> A perfect strike. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Hyphen! Ah, a perfect strike. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous. And menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf -kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Gjotve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light.
The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! feeling just the three of us we should return to not fall with our report while we can we can bring to the news of the longships or we can wake him with sigurd stirbjörn Stay with wait. Could they grow stronger? I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. Heed my warnings or be off. You will be king of nothing if you do not act soon. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Up. 
must grow in these waters. This wind Stay will kill the sail! Sing us a song. Warriors! Bring it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kirkves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kirkve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Strike up a tune. Some time ago, I met a wandering skald in search of a jarl or king. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. Sing winter before. Get ready! Destroy them! Stay focused!
different land. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gestur? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kjotve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Kjotve lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kjotve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harald's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kjotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. 
Is... is this what you want? Kyotri robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotri should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. I have waited years for this, but I will not risk losing it through rashness. We should wait until the time is right. We set sail when you're ready. <laughs> 